And good afternoon, alumni. It's Michael once again, and I am an old friend. Perhaps you might recognize these doors. They used to go out into a parking lot on the south side of the building, and, uh, and yet it uh, looks far different. Uh, when I turn around, you won't per se recognize this place. But if you would, let me know that you like this video. This will help others to see the video. And also, let us know where you're watching from. Hello there, Sharon Hall. Thanks again for you and Bill uh, volunteering today for our fourth annual day of giving. And uh, if uh, the rest of you would just uh, like it uh, or comment on it, just to let me know that you're here, uh, that would uh, certainly make my day. So obviously you remember uh, this back entrance to the old Lehman Library, all right? And now I'm going to turn around and you'll see that it is quite different than what you might remember. Of course, the, uh, the restroom is on the left-hand side for the men, and then on the left is the ladies' room. If you'll remember, this used to be a hallway that we would turn here and uh, we would uh, pass all those artifacts that were here on the side and uh, then we would go down this hallway to the main entrance and you can see that uh, it's not quite the same that it used to be and uh, quite different. Uh, I'll show you just to give you perspective. These are the front doors to the old Fort Wayne uh, Lehman Library. From what I understand where that mud is out there, where that grass is, that's going to become a parking area. And this building that we're standing in is going to be a brand new uh, Park View, uh, not sports medicine, but Park View Healthcare Physicians Office. And uh, you can see that it's uh, quite different. As we uh, look ahead, that used to be uh, behind the doors would have stood Wave of Bushland, and that would have been the uh, front uh, counter uh, of the library. And yet, uh, this is going to be made into a physician's office uh, for, I believe, two physicians. There's going to be labs. There's also uh, going to be, uh, 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 oh, uh, just various uh, things here for uh, community people. I, I see that Janet Nickel from Sierra Leone has checked in, and this is where her dad uh, his office used to be, as well as Rose Nickel would have been in these places. So as you look around this library, and you can see, you know, perhaps back here in the back, uh, that used to be those study carols. And you remember up here, there used to be that second floor. I remember as a kid, they always had, uh, as a kid, they always had um, those puppets on the left-hand side. And uh, if you're watching this video, Susan Boglaga, uh, Piera or uh, some of your friends, uh, that, uh, that uh, lift that you would have ridden up on, uh, that Lynn would have uh, ridden up on, it's no longer here. But where was your favorite place in this old library that's being renovated for Parkview uh, doctor's offices? I believe there's going to be nine observation rooms. Uh, and I see that Sharon Hall used to work in correspondence uh, studies back in the day, but you can just see some uh, fragments of uh, what used to be the old library. So where was your favorite place to study in the library? Just, uh, just curious. Leave me a comment, and uh, you can see, again, this is the uh, entrance. This uh, project's being done by Shawnee Construction. And I appreciate them allowing me to borrow a hot or a hard hat. This uh, section over here is uh, actually going to be uh, taken by another tenant. We're not exactly sure. I don't know who's going to be here, but uh, behind these, uh, that section over there is where the library uh, stacks were located. And so again, just a lot of a uh, lot of memories in this place. Uh, did you sleep here? I know my dad. He slept right over there in that corner, and I'd have to pick him up uh, after my mom got off work and say, hey, dad, it's time to uh, head on back to home. 
and or head back home, and, uh, and yet uh, it's going to be a great community resource here on the south side in these uh, physicians' offices. So again, just want to thank you for tuning in. This is just one of the things that we can do for you as we care, connect, and celebrate. Uh, yeah, this is progress, and uh, ultimately uh, the uh, Fort Wayne Alumni Center is about relationships, and uh, you are important, and uh, this is why we need your help today. Uh, buildings don't support us, people do. So if you could make a pledge today, uh, between now and May 31st, or if you could do it for between June and December 31st, that would be most helpful. Uh, I want to thank some of you who have already made pledges and also given us match money to double uh, gifts right now. We're just uh, hovering around $21,000. We're hoping by the, uh, this next hour to be at twenty two five. But we're going to need some people to help. So uh, share this video or encourage other friends to uh, join with us on our day of giving. You can go to uh, www.f that's uh, then dot and then fw alumni center forward slash day of giving, and you can make your pledge or your gift there. So thanks for checking in. It's great to see so many names that I recognize. This is the old uh, Layman Library. I used to play right outside here. Remember when that wall used to be right there? That now is in the uh, new um, community center that they here have here at the summit. So you can see the old walls and the old limestone. So, yep, Janet, I'm sure this brings back some memories uh, for you uh, and that instructional material center that was upstairs where your mom worked. So again, uh, welcome back to campus. Uh, I'm going to head back over to the Alumni Center. You keep those gifts and pledges coming in, and we'll talk to you again at 4 o'clock with a special guest from overseas.